Hello guys, welcome back. I'm wearing the same outfit I was last week's video. That's because I'm filming these on the same day. I don't have the kids today, so I'm just pumping out these things like nothing. This is so fun. Anyway, we're going to the thrift store today. Y'all love these thrift store trips. I do too, obviously. <laughs> I'm obsessed right now with Amber Lewis. You might know as Amber Interiors is her company. So that was my inspiration going into this trip and I found so much good stuff. So let's go to the thrift store. We'll come on back and I'll show you what I brought home. So these first few clips were at the ReStore. This place was huge and stocked with furniture, which is mostly why we went, but I'm just taking you along for the knickknacks, but I don't have a ton of clips from here between the two of us with my friend and I. We had three toddler boys. So, yeah. <laughs> it's huge. Oh, mom, look at tickets. But it's also expensive. $60. I'm sorry, what? It is super heavy. You guys always let me know when I don't know what something is. Um, can somebody let me know what this is? These are, because I have no idea. The wood is really cool. Now we're at the next store, which was Sunshine Thrift. They have a few different locations through Tampa Bay. I saw, and I was actually very impressed with them. The prices were very low, even though they were very hard to read. These are giving like Lone Fox vibes, I think. But what does that mean? What is that? No clue what this pricing is. This set of chunky glass in this beautiful green color I thought was really cool. And it would look really cool on an open shelf in a kitchen, I think, and then used on a tablescape for summer to add some color. Look at that. I think it's scary. <laughs> you think it's scary? Yes. Yeah. What is it? What is it? It's a cat. It's supposed to be a cat. Yeah, With no hair. Yeah. I found two of these laundry baskets, each of them for $5, which I think is a pretty good deal. But I carried them around in my cart for a while and then realized that one of them had just like a little bit of dirt on the inside and I didn't really want to take that on. So I did leave these behind. I believe that these are for proofing sourdough bread. Is that correct? I'm Or are they just for decor? I'm not really sure. Okay, I probably should have gotten this lamp. I didn't because I didn't like the lampshade, but I could have always changed that. Probably even thrifted one. And it was only $4.94 and I love the shape. It looked very similar to all of the ones that I've been seeing in magazines lately and I could have painted it. Uh, and this pretty much made me just never want to go to Goodwill again. Even though I keep saying I'm never going to go to Goodwill again, I just end up going. This one was $1.91 and y'all saw me just get this <laughs> for $5 at Goodwill. The same fluted glass cake cover. Like I said, I'm obsessed with Amber Lewis, Amber Interiors right now. I recently just got her book and I'm just like loving it. Her big thing is mixing modern pieces with antique pieces and the thrift store is the best place to do that. She talks about going to flea markets a lot. So let me show you the, probably like the biggest item and then I'll end with my favorite item. How about that? I found this beautiful tray. It is scalloped and it has a wicker bottom. The wicker is a little bit discolored, but I figure I'm going to be putting stuff on it anyway. I always give things a good wash. I like wicker things. I usually put them in the bathtub. I don't know if you're supposed to do that with like a little bit of dish soap and just like scrub it around for a little while. But this has like wood. So I'm not sure if I should do that with this. If anyone have any, has any tips, let me know. But I think this would be great on the coffee table or up on a shelf just to corral things and make it not look cluttered. And, and I love the two toned natural colors in there and scallops. I'm obsessed with scallops. Y'all know that. It was $2.92. Um, I also got this puzzle. <laughs> This was a risk because you don't know if you have all the pieces, but we did it actually. My friend came over, one of my best friends um, is obsessed with puzzles like me, and we just got to do this puzzle together, dining room table while the kids played. It was great. <laughs> we could have a girls night with this thing. I mean, I need to start a little collection because I don't have any. Of these. All right, I found this bag there as well. This one was $3.93. It's from, I'm going to butcher this. Is it 
e-spirit or is that like a spirit I don't know <laughs> but it has these beautiful leather handles they're like real leather I think and then just this like cool wicker bag um I thought this would be great for the beach it just is so beachy and fun I have a part two to this video coming out of clothing items I've just been embracing like living close to the water and just like that colorful summer clothing and I found some beautiful pieces that I am super excited to make like into a capsule wardrobe. Let me know if you're interested in seeing that. I think you guys have enjoyed seeing the videos that where I give you like outfit formulas and they're really helpful for me to like cement that in my brain um, so that I don't have to think about outfits that much. I just choose a formula and it's done. So let me know if you want to see that video next. This one was at the ReStore. This was a little bit more expensive. It was $7.99 for these eight napkins in this beautiful sage color. I pretty much count green as a neutral, and I thought that this was just a really beautiful, like springy, summery color. Growing up, we always used cloth napkins with a napkin ring that was like distinct for each family member, and it was like an animal. It was really cute, like in these pewter ones that my mom collected. And so I think I would like to start doing that um, just because we go through like too many disposable things. I just want to try to limit our like waste and consumption. And it's also probably going to save money if I use these. I'm doing laundry like every two or three days anyway. So throw them in there. That $1 for each napkin was pretty good. And they're like in brand new condition. All right, I got this at that Sunshine thrift store as well and for $1.91. Um, they had such weird pricing, $1.91? I don't know, that's just weird to me. But anytime that I can find a basket thrifted that matches another basket that I have and like have a use in mind for it, I grab it for sure. So I grabbed this for the kids, like craft supplies. We already have this same, same weave and everything, the color but it's square and flat. Um, this one kind of goes up. So I think you're supposed to put like coloring books in there, right? Or like anything. My last two items are on the shelf back there. I've already styled them. <laughs> Let me grab them. Okay, so you're getting a little sneak peek of my living room styling makeover. I have been kind of putting off like actually putting this video together just because I keep collecting more things, but I'm just gonna keep collecting things as the years go on. Like <laughs> I I gotta just finally like show you guys this whole living room because we've gotten some new furniture in here and some beautiful antiques that I wanna show you guys and give you some like styling ideas and tips and things that I've learned. So that video will come soon. I found this little like vase thing. I thought it was very amber interior. She always incorporates like black into her rooms. What I've noticed to get that really strong like high contrast. This one was $2 at the ReStore. It's from Ikea. Um, I have never seen it there. It kind of is, I think it's metal. It might be porcelain, I'm not sure. The inside is gold actually. And then the outside is this matte black. I think that I could go in with a little bit of paint on this side to cover up that right there. But honestly, it's just gonna be in one spot. So I don't, I could just put this side forward, right? I like it empty. I could also put like some eucalyptus in there or some dried flowers I think would look really pretty. So I love this one. So I will leave her Instagram down below because this girl has like the cutest style. I think it's called Dream to Drabby. Yeah. Dream, Drabby, Drab to Dreamy, something like that. Not Dream to Drabby, that would be, that would be a downer. But she always thrifts these beautiful like iron, candlesticks with this like tripod kind of look. I guess this is a, not a tripod, quadrupod. <laughs> um, but I found these, this set that is two different heights, which is perfect for styling on a shelf. I don't have any of the pillar candles yet, but even just like this, I think they look beautiful, very sculptural. The price of these was crazy, guys. These were each $1.91 for each of these. I thought that was great. So yeah, these were my favorite item. I was so excited to find these and style them already. I couldn't resist styling them on this shelf here. So <laughs> that's what we've got for today. I hope you all enjoyed this one. I, I just love thrifting and I want everyone to love thrifting, but I do not want people to get ripped off because their stores can be crazy, like so ridiculously priced. It's sometimes hard to know what a good deal is when you're thrifting because you're like, oh, this is cheaper than it would in a store, but the more videos you watch like this, like there's a lot of creators online that we do 
like thrift hauls like this, it will help you hone your eye and know what is like a good deal. I actually do have a tips video. I can link it in my description below of thrifting tips for beginners. If you feel like you have no idea like where to start, I'll leave that video linked or watch the video that's on the screen here, which YouTube thinks that you might enjoy. I will see you in the next one. Bye. I'll show you this giant bag of clothing. Here. As a mom, I'm always looking for ways to make my life easier. Let's go ahead and head to the thrift store.